So now I get the Glock 17 Gen 4 MOS with the uh, SRO. I you see it a lot of my videos. As you saw before, I didn't shoot so good at distance. So let's see what we got here. Well, aiming for the uh, black dot in the middle, you see the uh, nine millimeter holes are obviously bigger than the two, two, three holes. Most gun battles are pretty close. Uh, probably three to seven yards, like something like this, you know. If you see all the videos, it's very rare you're shooting uh, far away. So you really want to get proficient with drawing the gun and putting a couple of rounds on the, uh, on the adversary. If you need to, like uh, I did a point and shoot class once and uh, I was surprised to see how many times I actually hit center mass without aiming, just pointing and shooting. I didn't use the red dot, I didn't do anything. I just pulled the gun out, pointed it, and uh, yeah, everything was here. I just, literally, I did not aim. I just pulled it out and shot. So I'm gonna put another mag through this and see how that does, point and shoot. No red dot, no backup sights, nothing. Just the guy's close, he's drawing. I see he's drawing and uh, I'm drawing him and shoot. So I did not aim, I literally pulled a gun, pointed, and everything's in the zone here. You know, this is all, this would all be uh, a bad day for this guy. So, obviously the further you move back, I don't know if that's gonna work so well, but I'll try it a little further back. Let's see how many rounds, I got a few rounds left. Let's see if I put everything in the black still. So see, as you move back, got a little sloppy there. I got uh, two up here. This one might have hit him in the ear. This one's a complete miss, shoulder up here. So as you move back, you may want to start looking at aiming. Just some food for thought today.